Joto. Man, what's good with y'all, man? Your boy, not out of glow, not out of chosen one, not out of soul. I'm back with another video, man. I'm back with another banger. Let me know in the comment section, man. You know, <clears throat> what are you grateful for? I need to see more than 100 comments. What are you grateful for? I need to see it. This is how I'm going to know who's actually grateful in their life. What are you grateful for? Let me see it in the comment section. I'm going to do my best to respond back to y'all comments. You feel what I'm saying? And also, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Shout out to the new subscribers. You know, we at 12.5K. All glory to the most high. All glory to that man in heaven because at the end of the day, he's the one who deserves the praise. I won't be here without him. And so would you. You know? So you so would you. You won't be here without him. You feel what I'm saying? So you must give him his praise. You must give him his glory now. I'm telling y'all, bro. You know, this is about to be a great video. I hope you stay tuned to the end. Make sure you follow me on IG, Trilly.nana. I just got back from the gym, by the way. You feel what I'm saying? Trilly.nana, follow me on IG, join my Discord. You know, cop some merch, book a one-on-one -on -one consultation call. Shout out to the ones who I talked to yesterday night. It was like, what, four of y'all? Shout out to y'all, man. You know, we had a great conversations. We were talking about life. We were talking about SR, talking about, you know, waiting for our wives. <laughs> hey, man, if y'all want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, book a call in the description down below. It's not hard. Just go book your, 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 uh, your session. You feel what I'm saying? And join the Discord. You can talk to me through there as well. Simple. It's just what it is. But with that being said, I want to get into the topic, man. You've seen it. It's pleasure, you know, worth death. Pleasure can kill you. Y'all got to understand, pleasure, you as a man, that, that's the hardest thing you really need to overcome, bro. If you overcome your lust as a man, bro, you're going to win in this matrix. I want you to really listen to my videos. When I, when I make a video, I want you to really watch me. I don't want you to just watch like two minutes and just end the video. No, watch to the end. Because there's, there's something very special I have for y'all, bro. At the end of the video, stay tuned. I want you to really ask yourself, is pleasure really worth you risking your life? You realize that, yo, the longer you fap and the longer you release your life force, you're actually depleting, you know, your lifespan. You're actually, you know, shortening your lifespan as a man. I'm, bro, I'm not even kidding. I'm, bro, I'm not even kidding. If you keep retaining during your life of you you being a man, if you keep retaining, the longer you retain, the longer you you practice this and cultivate this, you know, in your life, bro, you're going to live long, bro. You're going to live long. I'm trying to tell you, bro, this is going to keep you healthy. It's going to keep your immune system running. It's going to keep your heart beating uh, better. Y'all got to realize, bro, you're, when you retain, your heart beats better, bro. That's why you, you have an increase in stamina, increase in speed, increase in strength. You know, you, things just start to boost up your testosterone levels. Things just start to happen. I'm telling you, it's because this life force is very powerful, man. It's very, very powerful. Just imagine, you know, wasting this life force every single day. You're basically killing yourself. This is, bro, this is what you're basically doing when you fap and you keep releasing. You're killing yourself. You're killing, the, you know, the longer you can truly live. You're killing also your potential. Some of y'all want so, some of y'all men want success so bad. You want so much out of this world, but you don't want to put in no work. You just want to sit on the couch, fap all day, eat chips, eat uh, uh, snacks, you know, drink sodas all day and just kick your feet up and watch Netflix. And you think success is going to come to you. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. You're not going to get success from the most high doing that. You're not living a righteous lifestyle. How are you going to get success? You know, I'm telling y'all, bro, you know, y'all already know there's two types of ways you can get success in this world, bro. You know, the devil can give you riches as well, you know, but that comes with baggage. That comes with sorrow. That comes with, you know, a lot of wrong, bad things. But when, when it's God, you have to be patient, but it's going to come. God will give you riches and his riches going to it's going to last way longer than, you know, the devil. I'm trying to tell y'all, you don't have to give nothing up to, to, to get riches from the most high. You just have to stay obedient to him. You just have to live in his commandments. You just have to obey him and, and, and live a righteous lifestyle. Try to. I, but this is what I be trying to tell people, man. Like, I talk to countless uh, amount of people a day. I, bro, I talk to a lot of y'all during a day. You know what I'm saying? And some of y'all just, the, the, the things y'all be telling me, you know, I just be wanting to tell y'all, hey, what have you been doing in your life? Have you been practicing semen retention? Have you been submitting yourself to the most high? 
You know, have you been getting into the word of God? Have you been trying to pray to him every single day? Have you been trying to build a relationship with God? And if your answer is no, then you are, you're not going to win. I'm at 20%. It's all good. We're going we're gonna to make this banger very, very good. You're not going to win in this life if that's what your goal is, you know, to just keep indulging into pleasure. At least do something like working out like what I just did. I just got back from the gym, you know, a nice little one hour workout with my after that. No, I ain't sponsored, but shout out to Smoothie King. You feel what I'm saying? We're not sponsored just yet off of Smoothie King, but in the future, you're going to see me sponsored with Smoothie King because I buy their stuff so much. Like, I, bro, I'll be there every day. The people there, every location in Ohio where I'm at, <laughs> where I live at, people, they all know, they know me as Smoothie King, bro. I go there every day, bro. <laughs> they be like, oh, what's up, man? It's, like, it's crazy, bro. But, you know, that's besides the point. Pleasure is not worth death. Pleasure is not worth you your life. It's not. You know, you're going to have a lot of people come up to you and say, hey, you know, what are you doing? Hey, you're doing something wrong. Hey, you need to stop. A lot of people are going to hate on you when you retain, bruh. That's just what it is. It's because they can't do it. They're, they're not disciplined enough. Or even if they, you know, they do know about it, they're just not disciplined or they're just weak. They can't do it. So people will hate. You know, most men indulge into pleasure. 99% of men. 90, I'm going to say 99% of men indulge into pleasure. I'm talking lustful pleasure. You know what I'm saying? They just, they fap, they fornicate with women. You know, they can't stop edging. I, bro, it's like, it's a lot going on in this world, bros. Y'all need to stay sharp. You know, you need to stay prayed up. You need to put God in your life first or else you're going to be feeling depressed. You're going to be feeling so bad in these times, man. If God is not in your life, if you don't got no head, if you don't got, you know, you know, a higher power that is guiding you, you're going to feel lost. This is just what it comes down to, man. I've been retaining for, I think today's day 44 or day 43, either one. I've been retaining for that long. And bro, you know, that's what, past the month? And I'm, I feel amazing, man. I don't even want to go back. I don't even want to indulge into pleasure no more. You know, I had had a wet dream two nights ago. I need to tell you about that real quick. I had a wet dream two nights ago. You know, the succubus is trying very hard when you retain. You know, I told you I expect wet dreams around the 30 to 40 day mark. Expect the, expect the wet dreams to come in. Expect the succubuses to, you know, come in your dream, trying to get you to relapse, you know, when you wake up. You know, because when you wake up, you're going to remember that dream. There's no way you're not going to remember that dream. It's like a demonic entity was literally sent to destroy you and your streak. I'm, I'm telling y'all, when you wake up, you're going to still remember that. Whoa, what just happened? Because you you seen it in the dream. I really don't forget my dreams. You know, that dream I had two nights ago, I still remember it to this, to this day. Let me tell you what happened real quick. I was at a party. That's how I know that this was off. You know, as soon as I see myself at a party at the, you know, in the, um, in the dream, I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is done. This is something's going to happen because I don't go to parties. I don't fit in with the crowd. I'm, I'm, I'm set apart by the most high. So I don't, I don't go to those type of events. That's just not who I am. You feel what I'm saying? And I see myself there. I was like, bro, what am I doing here? And I, I, oh my gosh. And, and tell me who I seen. I seen one of these girls I used to go to high school with who I knew. You know, I knew her and I seen her pop out the cut. I seen her just walk, walk, walk right in front of me. And when she walked right in front of me, she looked left. Wait, that was not left, right. That's my right. Probably y'all left, but my right. You feel me? She, she looked my, uh, my right and she, she seen me. She was like, wow, you changed. Oh my God, you look so good. Now she started rubbing my shoulder. And I was like, bro, this is bad. I already knew something was up. I already knew this was about to be bad. You know, but obviously it's a dream. I couldn't really do nothing, bro. I, I don't know. It's just, if it's just me, but let me know in the comment section. Can y'all do things in y'all dreams? I can't do nothing, bro. I, I just, I, it's just like a simulation happening. It's just something happening. I can't stop it, bro. I'm, bro, I don't know if it's only me. Let me know if, I, if I'm not going crazy. Let me know. <laughs> because I couldn't move. I couldn't do nothing. I just see myself talking to the girl and she was like, oh my God, you look, I was like, oh, appreciate it, appreciate it. And I was just trying to be nice. You feel what I'm saying? That's just about me. It's something about me. If, if, if I don't like a woman, you know, no more, if I don't like you, I, I'm just going to play it nice and yeah, fake it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then I, you know, I'm going to just let it play out. That's what I was doing to her. And then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? She was like, hey, come dance with me. I don't know. I, I, Cause it was a party. They were playing music. You know, I was, she, she was like, come dance with me. I was like, okay, cool. It's just a dance. I'm not for me. We're just going to kick it. Just dance a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? Not all the soul for me. Break dancing real quick, you know? And I was like, cool. And we started dancing. And then she started filling up on me. 
Like, 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 I'm not even kidding. Like, she started filling up on me. I was like, yo, 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 relax. I told her, yo, 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 what's going on? She started just rubbing herself against me. I was like, okay, you got to relax. You got to chill out. You know what I'm saying? The dream, dreams, wet dreams be so weird because it's like it skips. It's like it skips scenes. Bro, it's so, it's like you're in a movie. I'm telling y'all, bro. That's how it felt. I was like, yo, you got to chill out. You got to relax. And then she didn't say, she wasn't saying that. She was just still going crazy. She was just still on me. She couldn't get off of me. You know what I'm saying? And I remember this female particularly from school. Like, I literally remember her. Like, what she used to do, how she used to act. I remember her. And I know she was that type of female who just wanted, you know, attention. She just wanted to be around men to just, you know, steal their seed. She was, she was with those type of women. So when I seen in her dream, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I know just that those type of women that you just know they're Jezebels. You just know they're succubuses. You just know because they just want a man's, you know, power. They just want your seed. You know, bruh. That's just something about them. You feel the energy coming off of them. You know what I'm saying? So she started dancing on me and I was like, oh man, you know, something's finna happen. Something's finna happen because that man, that man down there, bro, I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it real with y'all, bro. In the dream, bro, my stuff was hawk mode. Straight hawk mode because she was dancing on me. You know what I'm saying? So that when, I, when I woke up, even when I woke up out the weird dream, my stuff was still like that. I was like, bro, what is going on? And I remember the dream so vividly that she tried to steal my seed. I mean, but it, it, I had a wet dream, but I don't think she was successfully in taking my seed. Like in the dream, I don't remember her taking nothing from me. For me, and she tried to. She tried to because you know we had went you know to the back or whatever, but we didn't do nothing. You know, so we didn't do. I don't know. So I woke up still with the puddle. I still woke up with the wet dream, and my stuff was still like that. And I was like, man, ain't no way this just happened to me once again because I've had like three already these past thirty to forty days. I've had like three wet dreams already. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if y'all been experiencing wet dreams. You know. I don't know, man. You know, I I did eat. I, I I remember two nights ago I did eat a lot of food at night. So I think that's what that's what also caused it. You know, so make sure y'all limit the food y'all eat at night. You know, I'm starting to realize that the more I, if I eat at night, I get these type of weird dreams. You feel what I'm saying? When I eat a lot at night, you know, probably when I eat something light, I don't get those type of dreams. But when I eat a lot, I get those dreams. You feel what I'm saying? And that's how I knew pleasure is not worth it. That dream alone made me realize pleasure is not worth it. Because why would I release? you know, my essence. Why would I release, like, like just for a quick five, max five minutes? Why would I do that just to harm myself? Because I because I know that we all know the aftermath of a relapse. We know it. We know what comes with disobeying God, bro. You know, releasing your seed, you are disobeying the most high. He doesn't want you to do that. Why would you disobey your father? Why would you disrespect him? That's what you got to ask yourself before you fat, before you release. Why would I want to disrespect God? If you actually truly love God and you respect the most high, you're not going to fap no more. I'm done with that, bro. I'm, I'm serious. You know, it's something that, you know, when the urges kick in, I know it's tough sometimes, but we got to realize and actually understand who we're doing it for. God, bro. You're doing it for God first, then yourself. Because this is doing something for the kingdom of, you know, the most high. You know, we're, we're doing this, you know, to, to raise the planet's vibration. We're doing this to make people, you know, return back to the most high. Souls, souls coming back to the most high, you know, by me spreading this message. Some of y'all are getting inspired. Not even some, all of y'all. You know, even if you hate, even if you don't like me, it is what it is. You're still getting inspired. My Even my enemies are getting inspired off of my content, man. And it is what it is. It's because this is the this is something that, you know, a lot of people haven't been hearing in their life. People are not hearing this type of information that, you know, pleasure is not worth it. Ple is pleasure is is pleasure really worth you losing your life? Is pleasure really worth all of that aftermath that comes with it? It's not worth it at all, bro. So I want you to really sit down and ask yourself this before you do it again, bro. The, you know, I've been contemplating. Anytime I get an urge, and a you know, when these demons try to, you know, want me to fap, it's something about it. Like, I, I, I rethink. I'm like, yo. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't fap. You can't release. You can't go fornicate with that woman giving you choosing signals. You just can't. Because what is going to come with it is going to be bad, man. Especially if it's not, you know, the right way. If it's not that woman you're married to, if it's not your girlfriend who you're in love with, if you're not in love with this woman and she's not in love with you, that's not, that's not somebody you should be having, you know, S3X with. That's just simple facts, man. You know, this is what people lack, self-awareness to be able to re realize, hey, 
I, you know, no, no, I don't know her. I can't just, you know, get in her pants. But men don't care. They're they're horny. You know, this is what this is what happens to you when you fap all the time and you are indulging into pleasure. You get horny all the time. You can't control yourself around a good-looking woman. You can't. Y'all be y'all be realizing why guys act sus or whatever. You know, they act you know just you know out of out of out of character. Bro, it's because they fapping. It's because they fapping. They're not in their masculine energy. When you retain, you're not talking about none of that sus stuff. You're not playing around with your, your guy friends with all that weird talk. No. It's because they fapping. This is I've noticed this. You know, you have a lot of entertainers just they, they just say weird out of out of character things. You're not a you're a man. Why are you saying these type of things? You know, they just be saying things that they say they playing. They're playing. But no. You just fap too much, so you just talking about all these sus things, bro. I I can see through it, I bro. I know y'all see through it too. Just watch entertainers. L look at how they act. You can tell who's fapping and who's not, bro. Men who don't fap, you know, we don't talk about none of that, bro. We don't we don't do that because we're not indulging into pleasure. You know, we're actually focused on our purpose. We're focused on becoming the best version of men we can be. We're focused on leveling up. Pleasure is not worth death, bros. This is the way to go. Semen retention. Semen retention, God, purpose, building your kingdom, finding your wife, then procreating. That's life. You feel me? That's life, bro. I'm 19 and I'm, you feel me? I, I still want a wife. I still want a female, you know, who's going to be down for me. Whew, she's hot. Man, I just burned my skin. It is actually hot today, man. But I like the weather like this, though. You know, the better than the cold. You feel what I'm saying? But... We, I, I'm actually waiting for my wife, man. You know, I'm actually waiting for that female who actually is gonna love me for me, and I'm gonna love her for her. That's just what it is, bruh. Y'all gotta be on y'all grind, man. Stop worrying about these females right now. Stop worrying about pleasure right now, or else you're not gonna accomplish nothing. If you wanna accomplish something, if you wanna be great in this world, you need to cut all women off. Even women said this. You know, I remember uh, I seen a, a video of this woman talking about it. I'm gonna, I probably gonna react to that on, on, on a live stream. She was like, you know, if you want to, you know, level up as a man, if you want to become the best version of yourself as a man, you want to, you know, be something as a man, you need to cut all women off. You need to cut them off. You you know, you can't give them your sexual energy. You can't give them your life force or else you're going to be drained and weak as a man and you can't accomplish nothing. You look at all the all time greats. What you think they did? You think they fell into pleasure? No, they refrained. They retained. They seed. They life force so they can become great. So if you if you want to be great with me, like this video and put it in the comment section. Nana, I want to be great with fire emojis. Stop playing because we got to do this, man. You got to think about the future generation to come here. Think about that. Think about your kids. If you want kids, think about what your kids will think of you if you're fapping. What? You're fapping. You're drained. You're weak. What, what type of role model of a dad will you be? Like, come on, bro. You feel me? Hey, retain. This is deep, man. Pleasure ain't worth it, bruh. Stop busting gazillions of nuts. Stop. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it, man. I want you to sit there and just keep repeating this. It's not worth it to fap. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Keep repeating that to yourself and say, Nana told me that, man. Because I want you fellas to really level up. I'm leveling up. Why don't I want to see my other brothers level up? I do. That's just who the type of guy I am. I want to see other brothers win. I want to just see people in general win. So this is why I put this type of information out there. You know, I'm truly blessed to have the information. God is good. God is so good. Look at the type of information I'm preaching at such a young age. You know, I'm ble beyond blessed. And you are too to li even listen to this, man. And to, 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 to have it in your life, you know, you're, you're one step ahead. Remember that. But with that being said, man, you know, semen retention is the way. <laughs> semen retention is the way it's the way to go no fab semen retention monk mode i'm about to make a video on how monk mode changed my life i'm gonna make a separate video about that you know what i'm saying but hey fellas pleasure is not worth it man you know do things for the right reasons if you want good pleasure there's you know good pleasure you know work out you know eat some fruits eat some veggies you know that's good pleasure go hit the gym transmute your energy accomplish your goal you know, get something done and then you're going to feel great about it because you accomplished it. This is how that's that dopamine, man. That's that healthy dopamine porn and all that fake illusion stuff. Porn is fake. It's just an illusion to, to rob you of your seed. It's just fake. It's fake. It's fake. It's there to destroy your masculinity. 
You know, it's just here to destroy us as humans. Porn, it's, it's filthy, it's fake. It's fake. The people who do it, you know, there's something wrong with them. They're demonically possessed. You know, th there's really something wrong with the people who act on porn and all these filthy websites. There's something wrong with them. They need Jesus. You can't talk them out of doing what they do. They just really need Jesus. They need a higher power, you know, to humble them. You know, I know God, God eventually will humble all these people. God eventually, you know, will, will, all of this, all of these things will eventually stop at the end. You know, God will obviously, you know, Jesus will obviously come back. I'm telling y'all. So, hey, let's just keep retaining, man. You know, at the end of the day, you know, these fruits that we're bearing, you know, these fruits that we you know we're, we're putting out there, we're going to bear it. You know, we're, we're going to really get what we want. And it's going to be the right fruits. It's going to be the right things that we're, you know, trying to get. Remember that, fellas. Woo! I just went crazy for 20 minutes, man. Ain't no paper and pen. This is just off the dome. Give God the praise. Hallelujah. Man, I love y'all so much, man. I'm just blessed. I'm, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm just ready to go. You know, I'm ready to just keep elevating. I'm ready to just stay focused and just keep focusing on my purpose. I'm ready to just go, 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 go. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Woo! Like this video, man. Semen retention. Pleasure is not worth death. Think twice before you bust a nut. Woo! I'm out.